All right, I'm excited about this one, this video, because today we have a new alternator. So I've got the Super Duty 6.0, historically bad alternator. It's just undersized from what I've what I've studied about, you know, and learned from other people's videos. That uh, that 110 amp alternator just is not enough. So <clears throat> after going through five five alternators of the lifetime warranty from one of the you know great uh, auto shops uh, I'm just tired of going through alternators so found a company out of Knoxville Tennessee uh, McMahon so we ordered a 320 amp alternator from them we should get the job done blue for 25 extra bucks so I think what we'll do is we'll get the old alternator off and uh, maybe do a size comparison or something like that look at them side by side and then we'll put this one on and uh, see how the performance is all right so step one is we're gonna disconnect these the negative on both batteries Batteries are disconnected. All right, so next step is going to be to uh, release the tension on the belt here. I don't know if you guys have done this before, but there is a spring clip <clears throat> right underneath, right underneath that assembly down there, and all you have to do is pull, pull the belt with one hand and reach under there and uh, lift that spring spring clip until it catches and then that'll release all the tension so there's no way I'm gonna be able to uh, hold this so I gotta I'm gonna have to put you down a second so now we're gonna get these the three bolts off they're 13 millimeter left is to uh, the belt is loose I'm gonna hang the belt here I got a little trick if I can find my uh, clothes hanger I like to do this just to hold the belt almost in the right place so it doesn't go flopping around and get off of some other pulley Now it's off there completely. 
and I got the belt. So now I'll just lay this up on its end so we can get to the connector here. That. And we just need a 10 millimeter to get the power log there. I'm just going to save this alternator because this one's almost brand new. I'm going to save this, put it in the truck just in case, but hopefully we won't have any more problems like that and we'll get a couple, three years of this. So I found an issue that they didn't talk about or in any of the videos that I had. See that clamp for the heater hose is in the way of this, of this housing. So I can decide what I'm going to do about that. And I'll just remove that squash that under the between the housing mm, i don't know all right well sorry about that i had to cut the video I, we're in florida and we got a i guess a tropical storm off the coast and had rain come in so i had to get my boys to help me set up a canopy everything was getting wet I had to get the cameras out of the way and all that sort of thing so canopy set up and we got it installed i tell you i don't like I don't like that. I don't like, I don't know what to do with that clamp. I'm gonna leave that f for now, but I don't know. You guys got an idea about that? I don't know if I could tap another hole for that or, I don't know. Anyway, the other thing I had to do was just hog out the, uh, the uh, OEM lug there <coughs> for, the, for the bigger post. And otherwise, that adapter hooked up just fine. All the bolts hooked up fine. And it does look nice in there. So, but the real test is how's it gonna perform? So we'll find that out soon. Now it's time to hook the batteries back up. Yeah, you can see everything's, I started drying everything off, but the whole thing got soaked up here, so. All right, so uh, days have gone by and I'm editing this video and uh, realized I need to explain some things. So <clears throat> I took some footage a few days before I installed that alternator uh, to show the before, before performance. So I'm gonna insert the before, a couple clips of the before, performance and then you'll see the afterwards all right all right so here's typical uh startup here in florida i turned the air and everything off but this is what i've been getting for years Let's see if it'll focus once we get the truck started See the battery voltage, 11.2, 11.1. So I don't have the air on or anything, but typically I'd have the air on, I'll turn the air on. And I got some floor lights. So that's where it is until I start rolling. I'll try to show you what it looks like once I get moving here. Once you get a little speed, 
gets up over 13, but not, not far over 13. And the most I ever see really is 13.5. So now I've driven around for 30 minutes or so and back to idle. Let's make it 13.1, 13.2. And then if you notice the uh, headlights, if I do the, to put a window up or down. I don't know if you can see that dimming. I'm curious if the new one's gonna help with all that, so we'll see. All right, so. This will be the true test. This will be the first start. Turn everything off. I ran it this morning, uh, just out to get coffee into the post office. So it hasn't been run very much today. So this will be the first start. to reset the SCT box there so whoa battery voltage 14.1 I haven't seen that the whole time I've had this truck so that's great I'm happy to see that now maybe we can get these batteries charged last uh, before we went on vacation a few weeks ago I got them tested they were at 85 percent so they were never getting fully charged so that's cool.